This is your KCTV 5 News Flash Briefing. Good morning, I'm Gina Bullard. We want to get you caught up on the latest with the coronavirus outbreak. Missouri has now passed 6,300 cases with more than 240 deaths. Kansas has more than 2,400 cases and 110 deaths. A new model from Washington University suggests no state should reopen until the end of May, but several southern states still plan to do so as soon as tomorrow. Now here locally, Clay and Cass counties are shortening their stay-at-home orders. They will expire at midnight on May 3rd instead of May 15th. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas tweeted about the rollbacks, suggesting they were a political move, saying, quote, less than a week ago, every health director in our nine county by state region advised our stay at home order remain in place until May 15th. I'm not sure what has changed as the Metro. He went on to say, I badly want our region to get back to work, but the trade off cannot be someone losing their parent, partner, child or friend to COVID-19. We will continue to listen to our public health officials, not the political winds as we work to protect our community's health. And some heartbreaking news to tell you about this morning. A nurse at a local research hospital has died. Her colleagues tell KCTV5 she got sick after treating a patient with the virus. The hospital has not confirmed that she was supposed to retire next week after 40 years of service. There will be a candlelight vigil where her fellow nurses will honor her tonight. It's at 8 o'clock at the Research Medical Center on East Meyer Boulevard. And protests against stay at home orders have been happening all week long. This is video for Missouri's rally on Tuesday. Today it's apparently Kansas's turn. A rally is planned in Topeka at noon. According to an event Facebook page, many people are planning to walk around the Capitol building with signs and flags to demand that Governor Laura Kelly open back up the state. Inspections are now underway at a KCK rehab facility where 26 people have died from COVID-19. Another 91 have contracted the disease. The deaths at Riverbend post acute rehabilitation account for nearly a quarter of Kansas's deaths from the coronavirus. Riverbend provides short term rehab for people recovering from medical issues as well as long term care. Today, the House is expected to pass a nearly $500 billion stimulus package and includes $310 billion for the Paycheck Protection Program. Now, funding quickly ran out from the original stimulus, so many businesses who needed help, they didn't get it. Good Thursday morning to you. We're starting off with a lot of cloud cover across our area this morning. Certainly a gray and kind of dark start to the day, but hold on tight. The clouds are going to break across our area by mid morning and temperatures are going to respawn and rebound very quickly heading into this afternoon. We'll see mostly sunny skies for the second half of the day. Beautiful weather with highs climbing back into the lower middle 70s. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing because KCTV 5 News stands for you.